Um, well, good day uh, to people in Mexico City and greetings from the UK, where I'm sure our weather is not as nice as that which you're having in Mexico City. Um, thanks to CNS and um, Bobby Ranikan for the invitation to give a short presentation today about TB self-stigma and some of the uh, work that the Work for Change has been doing to try and help people address TB self-stigma. And I'm going to talk very briefly on three things. Firstly, I'm going to talk about what self-stigma is, certainly in the TB context. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the impact that it may have on an individual who's affected by TB. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about a toolkit that we put together to try and help communities uh, address TB self-stigma and reduce some of the damaging outcomes that can come from self-stigma. Um, so firstly, what is stigma? Well, I think um, external stigma is something we're pretty uh, pretty aware of. Uh, it's negative thoughts or beliefs about a person who has a certain pathology that is seen as unpopular by a community. So this can be TB, but also it can be HIV, or it can be some other kind of disease which is seen as something which perhaps people may bring upon themselves rather than something which is caught accidentally, if that makes sense. Discrimination is negative language or attitudes and behaviours towards a person who has a pathology. In the case that today we're talking about it's TB, but of course there is lots of literature on the impact of HIV and stigma and discrimination. But I think it's important to differentiate between stigma as a thought, which is what people think, the attitude they may have, and discrimination, which is the action, which is operationalising the thoughts that something I have about something. So in the HIV sector, as I've said, we've seen lots and lots of evidence about the damage that stigma can do. And there is also lots of evidence in the TB sector as well about how TB stigma can affect the lives of individuals. But self-stigma is slightly different. It's related, of course, uh, but self-stigma is more internalised. So um, a quote from Justin, Justice Edward Cameron is quite good to illustrate the impact of self-stigma, where he says, Self-stigma is self-disabling inner feelings of contamination, self-rejection and self-loathing experienced by people who have TB, even when there is no objective reason to fear rejection or discrimination, and even when, there's no, when there is a good objective reason to believe that they will receive external support, protection, treatment and acceptance. And that's quite significant because with people who experience self-stigma, they're often applying the negative reactions that people in the community have towards a certain condition or pathology they're turning it inwards on themselves, sometimes even before they've actually experienced any kind of externalised stigma. So what's the impact of that? Well, it can lead to a number of things. It can lead to a person not seeking care when they should do, uh, a person with higher levels of depression, a per person with lower levels of life, low self-esteem, reduced self-efficacy, anger and resentment, and lower treatment of adherence. And of course, in a person with TB, any of these can be incredibly damaging for a person who's affected and therefore one of the aims of all TB programs should be to consider the damaging impact of self-stigma and how it may be reduced in order to improve the quality of life of a person who's affected by TB. So um, just to say briefly about the toolkit that the Work for Change develops, at the end of 2017 we were contracted by KNCV um, to put together a toolkit uh, in collaboration with them, TB. And we called it From the Inside Out, dealing with TB-related self-stigma and shame. And we developed this over a period of months and did some pilot um, events where we ran the toolkit with community organisations. And up to now, we've run it in four countries. And we've been getting some really interesting outcome results from the toolkit. Um, the toolkit's divided into eight modules. Uh, some of these explore the basically what TB self-stigma actually is. Uh, and some of it explores TB self-stigma in the context of drug resistance and in infection control and in health uh, rights and in treatments and also in planning for the future once somebody is cured of TB. So how do we or how can we help them prepare for a life beyond TB? We, and also trying to encourage them still not to self-stigmatise. The toolkit includes a number of exercises which are derived from a number of sources. One of these is the work which has been developed by Bauer and Katie, but also it's developed from other resources that produce tools whereby we encourage people to rewrite what they may think that people, what people are thinking about them. So adjusting our reactions and interpretations, if you like, of what we think other people may be 
writing stories about us. Um, and we're still in the very early days of rolling out this toolkit, but we have got some quite positive short term results. We found that people at the end of running the toolkit in, uh, in the countries do feel much more confident in applying the tools that we shared with them in the toolkit in order to address their self stigmatization. And we're hoping to get some more longitudinal data as these toolkits are run out more extensively with communities to see whether there's any long term impact from uh, going through the toolkit and exploring TB and self stigma. And we hope there will be. And therefore, um, if you can have access to this toolkit via KNCV or via the Work for Change, it is open access. And uh, if you're interested, then of course you should have a look and just to see what kind of things we've been developing and which we do believe will have a positive impact on the lives of people affected by TB and experiencing self-stigma. Uh, so that's all I have to say. Thank you again for the uh, invitation to present today and I hope the rest of the session goes well. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, then of course do get in touch with me or anybody in the Work for Change. Um, Bobby will have the contact details. So thank you and good day.